Hi, welcome back. Today, we're now going to show you how to cook the previously wet marinated meat. First up, we have Filipino garlic salpicao. Okay, so we are using beef for this. Make sure to take out your garlic. We need aromatics for it to come more fragrant. A little bit of oil, cold started together. And once toasted, you can now add in your beef. You can also cook it in batches uh, if you feel that uh, the pan is too small so that we can sear all pieces together. Keep in mind that beef cooks really quickly so take care not to overcook the meat. Overcooking the meat can make it really really tough. Once added, just saute well until the beef is cooked. If there is some sauce uh, going into the mixture of the oil, that's fine. That's the wet marinade and we want it to coat our meat well. You can also add a little bit of butter at the very end in order to thicken the sauce and make it even more fragrant. Next that I'm going to show you is the Japanese chicken teriyaki. After the marinade, you just need a little bit of oil in a deep pan and you put your chin pieces in. This is a little bit trickier because the marinade is a little bit wetter than the others. Okay, sometimes the sauce will come out but don't you worry, you just need to uh, press it down so that the chicken will absorb the excess sauce and it will grill well over the pan. Put it, the chicken skin side down first. This will help. Uh, absorb the sauces and also caramelize the fat from the skin and char it really nicely and then turn it over so that you can cook the other side. This will take a bit of time. Uh, if you are using thigh filet, especially fatty, um, it will take a few minutes for you to be able to cook uh, the chicken well. When that's done, transfer in a container. You can also opt to serve it chopped and then in the same pan, Put in the remaining of your marinade. You can now make your teriyaki sauce that you can serve on top of rice and with your chicken. another method. This is Korean pork bulgogi. So this was sliced thinly and also submerged in a wet marinade. So again, just put two tablespoons of oil and in sections or in parts, put the meat, the marinated meat in the pan and saute or sear until well cooked. You will see it change color and then you will know that it's already cooked. Once that's done, you can remove it and set it aside and repeat the process until you have done all of the meat. And the very last portion, just like your Japanese teriyaki, you can put the remaining marinade and boil it until the sauce coats the back of the spoon. Once that is done, you can now pour this sauce over the meat to keep your meat really juicy and then you can serve it with a little bit of roasted sesame seeds as garnish. Last but not the least, we have easy Indian fish curry. This is the easiest of all because everything you need is already in the bag. Just empty the contents, put it in a pan and heat it up. Boil it until your fish is firm and cooked. In this process, if you want to add potatoes or carrots or other vegetables in your curry, you may do so as well. You just need to take out the fish uh, so that it does not get overcooked. And in the same sauce, you add your blanched or parboiled potatoes and carrots. Once that's done, it's boiled and everything came together well. You can now transfer it into a serving dish and add fresh cilantro for additional flavor and aroma. Are our finished 
finished dishes. I hope you've enjoyed making these recipes and I'll see you again soon. Bye!